I discovered a new short strategy that got YouTube to show my shorts to millions of people and practically forced them into monetizing my channel. What's crazy is you only need your phone and a little bit of the secret sauce I'm going to give you to achieve this yourself if you don't think that this is possible. Take a look at this video I created entirely using the same creation process. On the fateful day of July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong etched his name in eternity with perhaps the most iconic phrase ever uttered. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. You see, the space race began when the Soviet Union started flexing its tech muscles. So, how is this possible? That is what we will discover later in the video. But first, let me walk you through Pictory AI, which is the state-of-the-art AI tool we will use to start our creation process. Pictory allows you to take a simple script and turn it into amazing, professional-looking videos. You can generate hyper-realistic voiceovers, add captions to the videos, and even add your own logos and branding to your videos, all within a matter of mere minutes. But I still needed a killer script to feed this magic machine just then a light bulb hit me isn't there an AI writing bot I heard about earlier some intense redditing later I finally found its name cloud AI I began by asking cloud AI to name five unknown mysterious topics that would make an interesting one minute long YouTube video I like option four so I asked cloud AI to make a captivating suspense driven one minute script about this particular incident and waited for the AI to do its magic once it was done generating my script, I selected the text and copied it to my clipboard. Perfect! Now that we have our script in hand, let's head back over to Pictory to generate some stunning visuals. Once I signed up, I was redirected to this screen right here. Here, you can generate a video from a script, generate a video from online articles and blogs, or even edit videos using the super advanced text-based editor. For our purpose, I picked the script to video option. Next, I pasted the script I copied earlier into this prompt box. So after playing around with this website for a while, I figured out how to get the best possible results from it. You see, Pictory adds a new video scene for every sentence and paragraph break in your script. To make things exciting and dynamic, you'd want your video to have as many video scenes as possible. To achieve this, you'd want to create additional paragraph breaks manually in your script. So if this is your script, you'd want to turn it into something like this. This tells Pictory that you need a new video scene for each one of these lines. So let's try putting this into practice. I first started cutting up my text into as many lines as possible without interrupting the flow of the script. I then highlighted the important text I wanted Pictory to focus on when looking for a video. You see, how it works is, Pictory would pay extra close attention to these highlighted words when searching for stock videos to pair the sentence with. After I was done, I clicked on Proceed. Next, it was time to add some captions. You can select from a range of caption styles. Since our script talks about something from the 1900s, I'm going to pick something retro looking like this one. Next, I was given the option to pick my video dimension. Since this is going to be a YouTube short, I picked the 9x16 dimension. Within just seconds, Pictory had put together an awesome stock video sequence for our script. However, I noticed a few imperfections. Firstly, most of the videos are in full color, which isn't what we want for a script talking about the 1900s, but we can easily fix that later. Secondly, a handful of the scenes didn't really fit the vibe of the script, so I used the Visuals tab to swap these out for new ones. To swap a scene, simply type in a few keywords about the video you have in mind. For this particular scene, let's try searching for the keywords Sad Boy. After you find the one you like, all I had to do was click on it to swap it out. I followed this process a few more times until I got the perfect video sequence. Next, it was time to add the voiceover. Head on over to the Audio tab and click on VoiceOver. Here you can find a range of hyper-realistic voices. Let's check a few of them out. I'd rather regret the things that I've done than the things that I've not done. Yesterday's home runs don't win today's games. Friends show their love in times of trouble, not in happiness. Seriously, these voices sound too real. However, since we are on the trial version of Pictory, we will only have access to their standard voices. After some testing, I decided to go with Tom. Now, at this point, it's worth noting that I did swap out the standard voice for a premium voice by upgrading to Pictory's paid plan. You can do this too, and even get a big discount on your purchase by using the link in the description. Before we begin the editing process, I wanted to show you the final outcome. Imagine one day walking to work and finding a disheveled teenage boy barely able to stand, holding this mysterious letter. And so begins one of history's strangest mysteries. 
It was 1828 in Nuremberg, Germany. This wild-eyed boy only uttered a few words. I want to be a cavalryman, as my father was. Now it was time for the fun part. It was time to do the finishing touches to our video. To do this, I headed over to CapCut.com and downloaded the file. At this point, I should mention that you can do this using the online version of CapCut just the same. However, for this video, I decided to go with the desktop version. After installing it, I opened the application and clicked on New Project. I then clicked on Modify to access the project settings. Since we are doing YouTube Shorts, I selected 9 by 16 as our screen ratio. I also enabled the free layer option. You will see why in a second. After modifying the project settings, I dragged and dropped the Pictory video to the timeline. Next, I went to Effects and found this Dark Knight effect that makes your video black and white. Drag and drop it on top of your video and extend it to cover the duration of the video. I then adjusted the settings to the following values. Next, I went back to the Transitions tab and found the Black Noise tab under Retro Effects. Drag and drop it the same way you did to the previous effect. After extending it to cover the duration of the clip, bring down the speed setting all the way down to 2. Finally, I used this Rebound Swing effect to imitate a natural camera shake vibe. You can copy the same settings, but feel free to play around with it to find the best results for your video. Next, I dragged and dropped this snow particle overlay on top of the filters. I have left a download link to all these project files in the description below, so feel free to follow along with me. Afterwards, I changed its blending mode to screen to eliminate the black from our snow overlay. Finally, I needed to add a lightly transition in between the separate scenes to really sell that 1900s feel. To do this, I first cut up the video at the start of each scene. To cut the video, I selected the split tool from this drop down menu and clicked on the point in the timeline I wanted the video to split. This will split the clip into two. After doing this for every scene, I dragged and dropped a lightly transition at the top of each cut point. I have given you two versions, so feel free to experiment and find what you prefer. Make sure to place the transitions on top of our filters. Next, I selected each transition and changed its blend mode to hard light. After this, I needed some awesome background music to add suspense and mystery to the video. To add some music, I clicked on the audio tab and searched for mystery. After I found a music track, I liked I dragged and dropped it onto the timeline. However, the music was way too loud and drowned out the voiceover completely. So to bring the volume down, I clicked on the music clip and brought the volume down to about negative 17 decibels. There you have it. A professional looking video for your brand new YouTube Shorts channel. See you in another video.